Have you ever wanted to know what was the process to make your SketchUp models actually become architecture? Oftentimes we start with one model and a couple lines and maybe it's sort of interesting but it's not architecture. But that's what we're talking about today. Hey guys, I'm Brandon with I Am The Studio and today we'll be looking at making an architecture design using SketchUp. Essentially, we always are going to be making some sort of model, something quick, and finding ourselves in a place where, hey, how can I present this? In this video, I go through some quick tips so you can turn that architectural object into an architectural language that you can present and accurately and confidently create as architecture. So this is part one of the SketchUp Architecture series. It will be looking at the site, and part two will be talking about more architectural details. So stay tuned for that in the description. If you like this content, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the IM Studio channel uh, for more great content and excellent materials for architects and designers in the latest software. Today, uh, I'm going to show you how to make architecture at an existing little project I made as a tutorial. And this is something that helps people understand some basics about architecture and how also to really just jazz up your building by using architectural elements. We start off by looking at a very basic little house I was using as a tutorial, but a lot of the things are actually not worked out for it being actually architecture. That's what we're gonna look at today. The first thing we typically would start with when looking at architecture is organizing how the building idea works with the site. And you know, without even looking at you know if some of the things work on the inside in terms of program, uh, that's not going to be part of this scope. Uh, what we're going to do now is start with the site and start looking at working on some tags for the site. And we see that it doesn't have the site as a tag, but I'll make one, and I'll I'll put this line on the tag. And what I'm going to do is really simply come over, and this model is in meters. I'm going to come over and just do a three feet or one meter <coughs> down. And I'm going to come back here. And just on that same ground, I'm going to start uh, the basics for a carport. And so the car, well, <coughs> so the driveway, it's more driveway. And I'm going to actually just use a little foot because I just know it's going to be more accurate. Uh, and I'm going to go all the way out uh, 60 feet. Okay. And then if I say this is my road, I now have a little basis to draw like a street and paving. And so what I'm going to do is just break up this dimension first with a flight line. And so obviously this is, a, if you don't actually have this, if you do, you know, you can just make that more natural by adding it to your project. But, you know, even if you're just coming up with a stock idea, it's good to go through a little bit of this process. So I'm just going to keep it simple. This is now going to be um, maybe a road that's 60 feet. And I will turn that into the material of the um, road. find that here. So maybe just a, a lighter um, road. I don't want to do too dark. I might just lighten that up. I just don't want to take a with model with that. Okay. And now we're going to make this into a lighter black top. And now we'll have a little bit of a walkway coming out from the house. I'm using the center line of that front way, uh, so you just find that right there. And I want to come out uh, one meter on both sides. And I come out one meter here. And then there's like the walking path. I'll do that same thing right here. And then I'm going to come out. Um, I'm going to come out as in one meter and then another meter. But I said I, I want to have it a little bit the same. This is two meter. I want to actually come out three meters. Okay. And so now I have another little region. I'm going to press hide to hide the rest of the model. And now you're going to see what I'm going to make. 
I'm going to uh, turn this to polish concrete. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to offset it. And I have my shortcut set here. And I'm going to do that um, 0.3 meters. And essentially, I want to create a little bit of a brick pattern because it just will make a nice sort of texture to that ground. You know, even if you're you're doing like a driveway or something, it's nice to always have a little bit of a little aesthetic to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come out on the side and just do that same point three. And I'm just going to cover the door. And so now immediately you have a little more intelligent sight. Um, the driveway is a little bit close, but <clears throat> and some elements probably need to be moved. We're getting things started. And some of the geometry is a little messed up, so I'm going to take it out anyway. Um, um, so the next step uh, is really looking at maybe copying some of the fixed geometry. Like these are look at me type trees. Um, I'm going to make sure these are all on the vegetation layer. If it doesn't exist, so you just create it and I actually do have this trees layer. Just make sure they're all net. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is just within the trees layer, just continue to copy some of these. And one of the concepts, uh, one is floating here, is to have enough for like an environment. And some of them I had rescaled, so. And also, of course, there's a little bit of issue with when you rescale um, being lost. So, but anyway, I'm going to copy some so at least I'll have a rich environment to be working with. And I'll, I'll go to the end angle I want to get. So now you'll see what, what I'm working for. I'm working for this being a little bit clearer. And so, I'm going to actually even make this into a scene. Just right click and add scene here, and I'm going to add a little trees to this space so as to avoid having too much negative space. And as I click back to that view, you're now starting to see it where it looks more full. You know, before it was just like a little object on ground with a few scattered trees. Now we're actually seeing a proper set together. Thanks for joining me. This has been Brandon with I'm the Studio. I love helping people with their software, with their design elements. If you like this video, go ahead, like it, and subscribe to this channel. Click the bell for notifications. For part two of this series, check the description below where you can learn how to model architectural details for the building. And if you need help with any of your SketchUp projects, uh, look in the links below for a description to my complete SketchUp guide course. I also have several other courses in design and software that you might be interested in. So go ahead, check those out, and I'll see you in the next episode.